I'm just fascinated by groups and organizations that find find peace on earth. I mean, we all have questions. We all wonder about life. We all wonder, is that all there is? Could there be anything else? Is there anything after death? And you have to wonder sometimes how people uh, maintain their calmness and their bearing and People seek out those kind of people, those people that seem to have the answers, whether it's a cult like the Sinon uh, that we talked about yesterday, that cult that went bad, or something positive, generally positive, like organized religion. So people are always looking for meaning, they're always looking for something that uh, they can hold on to. Something that talks about and offers a life beyond. So this is a very beautiful retreat house here. And uh, it's one of, another one of those religions, though, that segregates men and women. Women aren't allowed up to the second floor. Hold the jokes, okay? I hear you guys, right? <laughs> but it's interesting. We'll look around. It's, it's as peaceful a place as I've ever been in it is amazingly quiet it's a place of solitude you don't hear anything we didn't see one person around when you show up you're supposed to seek like a brother out and uh, tell them you're there we didn't know that so. religious Retreat of the Vendanta Society. It's interesting. Second, you'll see this beautiful, beautiful house up here. Kind of cool, huh? It's a beautiful, big, uh, looks like old cypress trees. They look like they're hundreds of years old. You know, Rosie, you never know what I'm going to do. from the monastery came out. This is the monastery building behind me and he gave me some literature on the, what is Vedanta? 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 I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that, but uh, I'll look that over and I'll give that a uh, look-see and uh, get back to you in a minute about what the basic tenets of it are. Well, you can see they got a pretty big operation here. I was looking at some of these cars as we go by and you check them out. You'll be able to see the dust on them. is amazing. So I know there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of in and out here. So there's also nobody around. <laughs> he said the first floor is open to the public, and uh, that's where Jen and I went into before. So all right, let me let me do some crash reading. So just read the first briefer to you guys in front of this uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful rose garden over here. Is it Vedanta? And pardon me if I'm not pronouncing. Is the oldest major living religions uh, one of the, is the oldest of the major living religions in the world? Is based on the philosophical books known as Upanishads, which form the concluding portions of the ancient Indo-Aryan scriptures, the Vedas. The word Vedanta is, in fact, another word for the Upanishad, Upanishads. It means literally the end of the Vedas. It also means the culmination of spiritual 
uh, knowledge. The basic teaching is that the essence of all beings and all things from a blade of grass to the personal God is spirit, infinite and eternal, unchanging and indivisible. Vedanta emphasizes that a person in his or her true nature is the divine spirit identical with the in, inmost being and reality universe. There is, in short, one reality, one being, in the words of the Upanishads, thou art that. Hmm. You see, there's various methods that you can realize God. You can have jhana, jhana yoga, bhakti yoga, karma yoga, and raja yoga. So everything is uh, developed on uh, yoga there for spiritual enlightenment pretty fascinating. Well, let's have a little bit of a cinematic tour.